Hello guys and welcome to a little bit of a don't starve uh, offshoot of my main adventure mode campaign. Uh, today was the update, uh, the big, uh, the next big update, which uh, involved caves. And um, so I decided that I had made a Wilson that I had survived a decent amount of time with uh, above ground. He was just on a fun world that I created. Uh, for no reason other than uh, playing the game when I wasn't uh, constantly recording. So we're going to be looking around at the caves. And uh, you can see that there's been some textures uh, added to the cave walls to make them look a little more cavey. So now it's kind of mossy and stuff. And what we're going to do is we're just going to run through each of the different things that are in the caves so that anyone who has a question can know every aspect of the caves as of right now, the update on June the 11th. So we're going to go through everything, and I will explain what it is and what you can expect from it uh, as we get there. So, this is it. Caves. As a whole. Let's go. So first off, we're going to start right over here. Caves are an underground biome in which it is always night. Meaning that most of the surrounding area is dark, except for areas that are illuminated uh, from the above. Uh, by shafts of light. However, it is constantly night. That is just that's that's a fact of it. That's that's how it goes. Um, this is a new thing. Uh, cave banana trees. You can now uh, pick bananas from the caves, and you can either cook them, and they'll recover more health, uh, a little bit more, but they'll spoil uh, a bit faster. Right now, these survive for ten days. There's some bats. Right now, these survive for 10 days, uh, and if you cook them, they survive for 6. They recover a uh, little bit of hunger, and they recover plus 1 uh, health. If you cook them, it's plus 3 health. Now, as you can see, we're under assault. And see how dark it gets? So you gotta lead these guys. If you wanna, if you wanna fight the cave bats, you're gonna have to lead them into an area where you can fight them. And dodge them. Um, this is a K. This is a rabbit. He's currently stuck in a wall. Uh, this happens from time to time. As you can see, there's nothing behind that wall. He just he's just stuck in a wall. Just you know, as you do, stuck in a wall. One thing to worry about rabbits, though. Rabbits are a neutral mob. If you feed them carrots or other such things, uh, it looks like there are spiders and stuff in the wall as well. Spitting spiders uh, also seem to be inside of the wall. It seems a portion of the cave has spawned inside of this wall that I cannot get to. As you can see from the top, caves are a work in progress. This is something that happens. Um, now, with uh, rabbit men, they're vegetarians, and they think that if you have uh, meat, you are evil. So I keep all of my small jerky that you can see right here inside of Chester. Now, you can attack and kill rabbits if you want, and they will drop uh, carrots and meat, and sometimes they will drop rabbit fluff, which rabbit fluff can be used in the survival menu, which we don't have access to right now. We're going to find a little place uh, further in to create a base camp. Now, on the ground, you can find stuff. These are the, new, uh, these are the cave floors. There are ferns, uh, which is foliage. Foliage is edible. These are cave spiders. These are spitters. They will attack you from a distance if you are not careful. As you can see right here, here is uh, this is the cave spider nest. This is a normal cave spider. After a while, he'll uh, he'll poke his head in there like that. Then he'll pop back out, and you can murder him. Uh, to get rid of a cave spider nest, you need a pickaxe, and you gotta mine it. Four hits, and it's gone. No more cave spiders coming out of there. Uh, other stalagmites, uh, stalactites and stuff. These are underground rocks. See, you can mine those just like normal rocks. You can get anything from them. Gold, uh, I think you can get niter. There's this thing right here. You can mine this. Same, uh, same principle. Rocks, flint, gold, niter. Uh, every once in a while there will be cave-ins. Uh, things will fall from the ceiling and you can pick those things up and use them 
uh, as you see fit. Mushrooms, of course, uh, spawn in caves. Uh, but during the cave-ins, all sorts of things can fall from the ceiling. You can get rocks from the ceiling, flint from the ceiling, uh, gold can fall. Occasionally blue or red gems will fall. Not purple gems, as far as I know. Uh, I think you can only refine those or get those from clockwork bishops, uh, as of right now. And uh, sometimes uh, marble, I believe, or granite. I can't remember what it's called. It makes granite armor, right? Or is it marble armor? I don't know. Marble, granite, I forget the name right off the top of my head, but those things will spawn. So you've got underground marsh. These light flowers, you can pick these, and if you do, uh, it takes a while for them to regrow. However, light flowers give you light bulbs, as you can see. Now, what you can do... Ah. We have happened on uh, something kind of rare. Not super rare, but a little bit rare. Uh, over here, you can see tentacles next to a tentacle body. These tentacles are not... Now, see, this will summon a whole bunch. You'll notice I'm not getting attacked. I have god mode turned on right now. This is just... This isn't specifically to show you uh, my survival techniques or anything. This is just specifically to, uh, to show off the caves so that everybody knows about it. So, I have god mode turned on. I do not, uh, I do not have god mode when I play normally. Uh, also, it doesn't, God Mode doesn't increase your damage, it just makes it so you don't take damage. Uh, so this is how weak, uh, the tentacles normally, the little baby tentacles normally are. So, they're normally fairly weak. Now, the more you attack this giant one, the more little, uh, tentacles will spawn until eventually... It'll fall in. And then eventually it'll pop back up. Now these, as far as I can tell, uh, they're not killable. You can, you can knock them down if you want and it'll cause a, uh, it'll cause a cave, a cave in. So that's all there is to that. Nothing special there. <clears throat> Moving on. Uh, we'll move on to the uh, the next thing. We'll find something new. You can hear these nice cave jams. And of course, sometimes you'll run into uh, just holes in the ground. This is the equivalent of water above ground when you run into different places that you can't pass. Uh, instead of there being water uh, underground, they just have uh, ravines. Uh, just big voids of nothing that you can't pass. Giant cliffs. Uh, up here, we'll find some more... Uh, light bulbs and things of that nature I think right around here next to these uh next to a couple of mush trees or something let's take our hat off so we can see exactly what's going on it's so dark right here seems like as good a place as any we are going to set up a fire pit there you go fire pit now as long as we don't bother these light flowers and uh, this mush tree then we can see our fire pit. Now one thing that you have to worry about is you can't, it's a little bit more difficult to build a fire pit like somewhere around there because if you don't have a light of some sort then you won't be able to put fuel in your fire pit and you will be uh, pretty much screwed. Because then if it's dark and you're trying to find your way to your fire pit, well you know, you're gonna have a hard time. You're gonna have a bad time. So here we have science. I already have the shadow manipulator unlocked above ground. So we're going to pop up a shadow manipulator. Bam. So we can make some new things. Now in the light section, uh, we'll show you real quick. Down here there's a lantern. Now I need to refine a couple of ropes. That's fine. I came prepared with grass. Uh, let's go ahead and cook this meat. And we'll eat this too. And uh, foliage. As far as I know, foliage is just a vegetable. It's just an underground carrot. Uh, you can uh, set it on fire if you want. I don't think it's used for anything else. It's not, uh, there's no, there's not a lot of new recipes. There's the bat bat, which is kind of neat. Uh, you need batalisk wings uh, in order to make some of those. So we'll get some batalisk wings and we'll make a bat bat. Um, this thing drains health per hit, but it also costs sanity every time you hit something with it. Now, it doesn't cost sanity, uh, you know, nonstop. But it does cost sanity as you continue on. So I'm gonna collect some. I'm gonna collect some more wood uh, from probably some different mush trees. 
build some chests, set up a base, and I'm going to show you guys some other different things that you can make uh, so far. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, <clears throat> we got some chests uh, now. So I'm going to show you about uh, the lantern. So here's how you make the lantern. It, you need two of the light bulbs. Now, cool thing about the lantern, uh, the lantern has a pretty nice uh, luminescent glow to it. It's really neat. Another thing, you can use the lanterns uh, for your base. And how you do this, the way to do this is to walk to a place where you want the lantern and you drop it. And what's that? Ah, there is a normal tentacle down here, as you can tell. Uh, he's just hanging out, uh, doing his tentacle thing. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and murder him because uh, I'm, I'm not tolerant of tentacles in my base. And since God mode is turned on, uh, he can go fuck himself. Uh, so, there we go. I'll pick this uh, flower. Now, the thing about these is uh, they run out of fuel after a while. So, if you add a light bulb to them, they will refill themselves. It's pretty neat. And then you can drop it wherever you want. And uh, you can turn them on and off if you if you want to. So you know you can uh, you can make a little uh, lantern, put it around your base. Now these light flowers you cannot dig them up. I will show you. You get a shovel, you equip your shovel. You can't you can't dig up a light flower. So you can't dig it up and replant it. Unfortunately, that would be rather awesome. But also fairly OP, I believe, as the game designers know. Because if you could just harvest light flowers, then you would never need a campfire again. You just use light flowers forever. So, in order to combat this, they made lanterns. Now, you can turn it off whenever you want. But see, here's the problem. Here is the problem that I was talking about with the uh, the fire pit. If you put your fire pit in a dark area and it's out of fire, and you're out of light, like, for instance, one of my uh, helmets ran out of light, then, you know, it's kind of hard to find, first, your fire, and then, secondly, you can't really select it. Oh, ooh, don't pick that. Don't pick that, Wilson. Come on, man. Calm down. Uh, so, that's why you should always put it in a place that has light. Now, I can pop my hat back on, and I can go ahead and turn this back on. Boom, there you go. And uh, we can make another one, because I have a stack of fireflies and some gold and a straw hat. Every time my miner hat runs out of juice, it turns into a straw hat, which you need uh, in the first place to make one. As you can see here, straw hat, one gold, one firefly. Boom, another mining helmet. So we're good to go on the mining helmets. And uh, we can refine a couple more ropes. There's no grass down here, so you're going to have to bring your own grass or your own ropes. One of the two. And then uh, we can go ahead and we can make a couple more uh, lanterns. So we have another lantern. We'll turn this one off. We'll pick it up. And uh, we'll place it... Let's, let's turn this off real quick. And uh, let's take off our helmet so we can see where the darkness is. We'll place this one right here. Go ahead and turn it off. We don't need it right now. And we'll place this other one uh, right here. Turn it off. There. Now, whenever we want it, we can turn that one on. We can turn that one on. Uh, we're good to go. Light bulbs, you can eat them or you can add fuel. You remember that one was down to 80%. Now it's back up to 100%. Add fuel. Good to go. These things don't last forever. So if they're running low, as you can see, they're, it's already running low on juice. It's been less than a day, really. But time doesn't really uh, get told down here as well. Uh, time does move on the surface, however, while you're gone. So you can survive in the caves, I believe, uh, during winter. Oh, oh, here's your cave, man. Let's pop on a mining helmet and see what happens. As you can see, all this stuff is falling from the sky. Uh, there's some flint right there. You can see this stuff as it hurtles past you. Some of it survives, some of it doesn't. It's random which one will. So now in that cave-in, we got uh, some flint. We got a whole bunch of flint. We got... Uh, there are a lot of fireflies down here too. So if you come with the bug net uh, and that's it, then you can relatively, you can pretty, oh, look, there's a red gem. Look, we got lucky. We found a red gem. So as I was saying, those things can fall, and they will from time to time. Ah, this is a Slurtle. Wow, I did not realize there was a Slurtle. Uh, there were Slurtles down here. Slurtles, um, 
are interesting little beasts. You can kill them and potentially uh, wear them on your head. So as you can see, he is he is retreated into his helmet. Uh, they have a pretty low chance of dropping their shell, but if they do, they are a much more efficient uh, armor than the. Um, now they're kind of hard to kill. They're kind of tough. So you can pick up uh, broken shell pieces, which as of right now, I don't think the, uh, yep, I don't think that the uh, broken shell pieces can be used for anything. If you look in the uh, armor area, uh, you can't make anything with uh, broken shell pieces. Nothing in magic, uh, no hats. Uh. So as of right now, broken shell pieces are completely worthless. Uh, they have no use whatsoever. Those guys can drop uh, their their shells, the exact shells that you just saw. They only come out uh, from dens that look like these uh, after cave-ins. So, uh, and there are some uh, rare occurrences where a snurtle, a snurtle will appear. Those were slurtles. You can, uh, sometimes from these nests, Slurtles can pop out. Now, Slurtles are like Snurtles. Wait, Snurtles are like Slurtles. I'm sorry. Got that confused. Things you just saw, Slurtles. Slug Turtles. The Snurtles are Snail Turtles. Snail Turtles, uh, wasn't useful. I wouldn't touch it. I think, does this stuff explode? I can't, I can't remember if it explodes. Let's check. Yeah, it explodes. Now, if you use, uh, if you use gunpowder down here, it'll cause a cave-in. Uh, those things only come out of their nests during cave-ins. I can show you if you attack it. Uh, one, well, one will pop out. Uh, it is stuck behind its own nest. How adorable is that? You can pop on back here and start attacking them if you want. Now, when they're in their shells, they negate 95% of damage. So if you're using like a spear to attack, not really worth it. You might as well just leave it alone until it pops back out. Uh, however, I'm using my trusty walking cane, which has infinite durability, so you don't have to worry about anything. Now, so attacking the nests, however, isn't really suggestible because the nests are fairly rare occurrences. Uh, you can find more of them, but they're not all over the place like spider nests on the surface or beefalo herds or anything like that. They are pretty rare. So you'll want to kind of conserve them if possible. Uh, so you might as well just wait. Uh, Cave-ins happen all the time. So just wait for another cave-in, and you'll find some snurtles. Uh, and then you can use the slime as lantern fuel. So you can walk around with this lantern, and when it gets low, if I have the lantern on, I don't need my miner hat, so I can put on my football helmet. That way if I get, if I didn't have god mode turned on, if I got randomly attacked by something, it wouldn't be a big deal. I could just, uh, I could just walk it off. Or if, for say, I, uh, I had my uh, shelmet, if I had a shelmet, because it's a much more capable, much more durable uh, helmet. Uh, here's another cave-in. After the cave-in's over, these guys will pop back out again. And uh, you can have a chance to find a Snurtle. I'm, I'm sorry. So there's a Slurtle Mound, and I believe from Slurtle Mounds, Snurtles can actually pop out, and they have snail shells on their back. There is a 1% chance if you kill a Snurtle, if you kill a Snurtle, there is a 1% chance that they will drop their shell as well. And, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and drop this. We'll attack him. And if they drop their shell, their shell is an armor that functions much in the same capacity as the bush uh, hat. The armor, uh, you can curl up inside of it and hide from enemies. And what it does is, um, when you're not curled up, it negates about 
80% of damage, so it's about like a log suit. When you are curled up, it negates 95% of damage done to your character. Also, after about 5 hits, as as of this new, this most recent patch, uh, after about 5 hits with the, uh, with, uh, if a monster attacks you, after about 5 hits, they give up. They uh, determine that you're impenetrable, and they quit attacking you, and then they'll just wander off. So you can hide in your shell, like a snail, and um, eventually you'll be you'll be safe. So that's really neat. Uh, it's it's a really it's a really cool function. Uh, let's see, pop that in there, pop this in here, pop this in here, and the red gems because we don't really need those right now. Um, actually, I think I will take uh, one red gem. Let me grab some nightmare fuel. I'll grab some nightmare fuel, and uh, I'll make another rope. Refine, rope, make spear. Stand next to this magic and where's my where is my there it is fire staff we'll make a fire staff real quick we'll be cool wizards uh, for right now let's go ahead and take that too since I can and uh, I'm gonna need some more grass I may just spawn some in that's another thing that's something you can do again I do not play with God mode. I do not play with God mode on. The only time I play with God mode is when I'm doing stuff like this, where I'm trying to show uh, show people uh, different things like the caves as a whole. So we're gonna walk through the caves and try to find something else. Maybe we'll find a Bunny Man village, and I will show you the Bunny Man village uh, and, and explain uh, more about the Bunny Man. So Shelmets, uh, Slurtle Mounds. I think Snurtles will come out of those occasionally, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you have to find a uh, a Snurtle mound instead of a Slurtle mound. Slurtles drop their shells, which are helmets. Snurtles drop their shells, which are armor. So, but there's a rare occurrence of that happening, so don't, you know, don't count on it. Doesn't happen often, so if you want it, you're going to have to do quite a bit of farming. Quite a bit of farming. Ah, and here are some cave spiders again. Cave spiders are nothing special. They're just they're just spiders. They're exactly the same as normal spiders. Uh, they piss you off in exactly the same capacity. There's absolutely nothing special about them, and there's no reason to even uh, mess with them if you can help it. Just avoid them. They're they're just irritating spiders. The only difference is you can get spitter spiders, which are the ones without their shells, and the ones without their shells spit at you from a very long distance, and the projectiles move very quickly. And it's irritating. It is the most irritating thing. The only thing you need down here is grass. Oh, we found a Slurtle Mound. Is that the same thing? Slurtle? Yeah, Slurtle instead of Snurtle. Wow, we found another one. Okay, maybe they're not as rare as I thought. Or maybe I'm just incredibly lucky. I'm, I'm not sure, to be perfectly honest. Could, could have gotten lucky with this. So we're exploring some more caves. Again, I'm going to stop for now. And uh, we'll come back later when i found something of interest to actually show you guys. Right now, there's um, nothing special going on. You can add fuel on the run. 20% uh, per bulb. So, or 19%, you know, whatever. Now, with God Mode equipped, you can tell when you're getting hit because uh, your, it, like, equipment will still suffer damage it's just it doesn't translate uh, over to you so that's good oh some slurtle slime now that's another thing is uh i think it falls it can fall from the ceiling too uh you can use this as a weapon and if you do use it as a weapon uh it doesn't lose its um Durability, however, as you can see, it doesn't hit very hard at all. I think it hits for the minimum amount of damage, which is like 17. So it's a really inefficient weapon. It can, however, work in a pinch. Not recommended unless you're uh, fighting one thing. As you can see, cave spiders, identical to normal spiders. Uh, they drop spider glands, monster meat, and they will drop silk. They are exactly the same. The only difference as far as I know is that when you knock out a uh, spider nest, it doesn't drop silk. 
Uh, at least, it's never dropped silk for me. Maybe you can fully mine a uh, spider nest. I'm not entirely sure. But those guys, uh, those guys are down here, so you can use them to, uh, oh, man. You can use them to, uh, create bug nets, should you so desire. Which, you know, sometimes is, is kind of useful. Uh, actually, it's always kind of useful, to be perfectly honest. Uh, bug nets, so that you can capture the fireflies that are down here, so you can keep, uh, making miner's helmets which we're gonna wear our miner's helmet because it increases our light radius when uh, working together with our handy dandy lantern there's another cave in now you can get hit in the head I don't know if I said this before you can get hit in the head by falling projectiles during a cave in and it will cause you damage under normal circumstances see gold And it's entirely random what will survive and what won't. Uh, everything can fall, uh, but it doesn't always survive the fall, which I think is kind of silly in some cases, because if you see a piece of marble fall, it's going to survive. I mean, realistically, it's like the hardest material. It makes the, some of the strongest armor in the game. Uh, so, you know. But let's look for... We're going to look for a bunny village. So I'm going to pause until I find a bunny village, and I'll get back to you and explain more about the bunny men in depth. I actually found that I'd already discovered part of a bunny village in the uh, right there on the other side of this wall and on the other side of this wall that we couldn't get through before and so I thought I would explain a little bit of something um, while we were heading towards that and then this. I'm gonna find out what this is. This may be rock lobsters. Uh, however, something that I didn't explain before uh, was... Oh, shoot. I think I've already forgotten. Oh, look, a red gem. These cave-ins are nice. It's the only way uh, in the game right now to get renewable resources, uh, renewable rock resources and gems and, and things like that. So you can find normal uh, stuff down here sometimes, which means you can find grass. Uh, so I was wrong. You can find normal forests at times uh, in big light patches like these. Uh, which are pretty nice and big light patches like these perfect places to set up uh, bases uh, Unlike us who set up our base next to some flowers in the middle of uh, effing nowhere Where did we set up our base? All the way over here. Yeah, we set it up all the way over there. We could have set it up right here Oh, or ideally ideally you can set it up near a uh, bunny village now one thing uh, that I was thinking about is uh, f for those of you who have played the game you may already know this uh, for those of you who haven't played the game a whole ton this may be uh, a new thing for you as you can see this kind of stuff uh, deteriorates over time uh, you know different items and things uh, here's a fern again that's a vegetable it's just a vegetable as far as I know it's nothing else this this is a rock it's a oh there's a boulder see there's a boulder right there um, so we can equip our pickaxe. Mine a boulder. Listen to that. Look at those new those new textures. I love those. Those textures are awesome. So we got more forest land over here. Near where we first started. Can't believe I didn't notice the grass like immediately. Feel kind of silly that I didn't. You'll find twigs and stuff down here too. However, again, they're fairly rare occurrences. They don't happen all that often. So, you gotta be a little more... You gotta look a little harder. Now, over here, you'll notice... Uh, wow, there's a whole... There's a whole freaking ton of spiders next to this bunny village. So, this is a bunny village. Rabbit hutch. You can actually make a... Uh, under structures. You won't be able to see it because I'm not next to like a science vessel type dealy thing uh, but you can actually create uh, a rabbit hush using 10 carrots I think some boards and something something else uh, which I'm not sure what did he just eat did he eat some meat Ah! 
Here we have a nice rock lobster. These are new in the game. You can feed these rocks and they will actually uh, become your friends like pigmen. So they'll follow you around uh, in the caves. They don't last nearly as long. But they will follow you around. You can also offer them gold. They'll follow you around a little bit longer. So you can give them a couple of pieces of gold. They're slow. They have enormous amounts of health. And they deal uh, decent amounts of damage. There's not really much of a reason to kill them. Uh, killing them is kind of pointless. All they drop is meat, uh, stones, and flint. No point in killing them whatsoever. It's just a huge waste of time. Uh, it doesn't help you at all. Now... Rabbits, drop carrots. Meaning that you can give uh, you can give rabbits carrots and have them fight for you. So, give him a couple of carrots. Give him a carrot. Give him a carrot. Give him another carrot. Hey, if you like that content, why don't you do me a super huge favor and click that like button. And if you like all of my content and want to see more, why don't you hit that subscribe button so you can be updated anytime I do anything new. And well, if you want to be my best friend, you can go ahead and try to share this on Facebook or Twitter or Reddit. Anywhere really. Get that stuff out there and help this channel grow. It'd really mean a lot to me.